Okay, I've been asked a number of times, what's my favorite mower out of all the mowers I've had? Um, what's the one I like the most and why? And people seem to ask this a lot and they want to know. And it, it seems to be it's more just guys starting off and they're curious of what they should get. And I've said a million times, it's got to be what's best for your area. What cuts great in my area might not cut great in your area. So I put together this video. Let's watch a ton of footage I had from 2016 when I had this mower. This was one of my biggest regrets, still is my biggest regret, selling this mower. It was my favorite by far. And I'm going to show you a ton of video here that I put together, clips I pulled from that whole season of mowing with it. And uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean and what I liked about that thing. never had to bag with this mower but if I did have to I had an accelerator that I would bag with um, you guys know I've owned so many accelerator baggers and that's simply because they're um, built specific for mowers um, specific mowers so uh, here it is with me mowing down a section behind a fire hall I've mowed for years and still do this grass weeds back there was um, four foot tall over four foot in some places um, but the lowest spot was like three three and a half feet and uh, I just wanted to put it through a test and see what it could do. And this thing ate through it like it was nothing. Um, I did cut through it and then I left a bunch of tall stuff and I had to go through it a second time. But um, you'll see here in a second what I was doing was I cut through, back up, and then cut again and it was, it was down. So once I got done with all of that, what I did was I went back through it and uh, I raised the deck up a notch. I believe a notch or two is how I had done this and uh, went over it one more time in an opposite direction and um, fanned it all out and that was it. I didn't have to bag anything, didn't have to take nothing out of here and uh, and then it, it looked pretty good. There was some a little bit of laying grass when I was done but not much at all um, but it looked really good. It didn't, the deck was clean when I got done. It wasn't all clogged up or nothing. It was just the design of this deck and that's what it would do. Uh, handle like it was nothing and then uh, I've been cutting it ever since then, uh, this whole section when I do the weekly cut there, and it just looks great. Yeah, see, this is what it looked like when it was done, but it would just cut great. But um, the things I loved about this mower, I love the deck, hands down. I've said it already. I've said it a bunch of times in other videos. I've said it in the beginning of this video. I love this deck and the way that it cut. Like I said, it would handle anything from dry grass in the middle of summer um, it still had a you know with the right blades it had plenty of suction to pull that grass up when it wasn't as elastic as it is in the spring and the fall um, still got a great beautiful clean cut and uh, in the spring when it was wet and it was thick it, it cut beautiful dispersed grass beautiful never had an issue there in the fall it mulched leaves like there was no tomorrow with the right set of blades on again um, it just the best deck in my opinion hands down I just love this um, X marks ultra cut decks uh, the platform I loved how the platform flips down and uh, it some people don't like it because you're a lot higher than you are on, on a lot of other standards but 
it was just uh it had great suspension it was great for bumps it was just so comfortable to ride it you could flip it up if you wanted to walk behind it which i had to on a couple sketchy hills from time to time the other good thing about this one is this 52 in the back i could spread the axle out so it was at one spot and i could spread it out at two other adjustment points and have the axle wider the tires wider for when i had areas with hills which I'd spread it out to that, and that's where I'd left it all the time. Um, the 36 didn't have that option on I don't know about the 48s, but this 52 definitely did. Um, and that was a great feature. I've never seen it on another standard before. I think they should all have it. But uh, definitely awesome. So I love that about it. Um, the controls were really nice. I love that the controls were all in the hand grips versus on the platform. I'm not a fan. Any standard I've had with the... Uh, uh, safety in the platform I have disconnected or rerouted in one way or another because every time you hit a bump um, and you come up just a little bit it tries to cut out the engine it's happening to me on every mower it's having a bunch of buddies of mine um, and you know I'm 204 pounds so it's not like I'm super light and that's why I was doing it just it's just the way they are I hate platform safety switches so I like that about this um, what else can I say about this thing? It was just it was just my favorite mower all the way around. When I had this in the 36, I had them both in the enclosed trailer and I had so much room. Um, it was it was great. If I had another chance to buy one of these, I definitely would. I've been looking for about a year and a half, two years to uh, find one. Even if it needed work, I would just go through it. To me, it's worth the money to completely redo a mower like this. Um, well, here it is with the accelerator on it. So in the times when I did want a bag or had the bag areas, I could throw it on. The other good thing about it was this accelerator, I could pull off here and throw it right on the Xmark 36 Vantage. It went on either deck. Um, this big 6'2 Jumbo was a little extreme for that 36. If you got it full, like really full of wet, heavy grass, um, it would tip that 36 deck a little bit. So you had to be careful. But either way, in a pinch, I could use it on either one. Um, but it was just a great mower all the way around and um, like I said I've been looking for a couple years I cannot find one I'm not gonna travel across two states to get one but if I found one close or somewhere nearby even if it needed work and had a bunch of hours to me it's worth it and I would uh, I would definitely go and buy it and put the money into it whatever I needed to do to fix it um, and to get it back up and running so um, I'm sure people will ask, you know, would I take this over one of my walkers? I do love my walkers. I love the cut. I think it's phenomenal. But if I had to choose between one of my walkers or this Xmark Vantage, I would take this Xmark Vantage. It's just an all-around beautiful mower. I love it. Um, and the one thing I love about the walkers, besides their cut, which I still think the cut blows this out of the water. I mean, it's, it's not even the same. Um, and I don't think that there's any mower that compares to the cut of a walker. But um, this right here would be the closest I've ever found to what the walkers do and the way the walkers cut. Um, but all around, it's just uh, it, it's just been my favorite mower. And uh, I sold it when I bought the Tiger Cat 2. I didn't think I needed any more. And I've since sold the Tiger Cat 2 to Ryan, as you guys know. So that didn't really work out. And I've needed another stander. So that's when I bought the other Great Dane. And since then, I've bought the right, which you guys know that if I could sell it today, I would. Um, I really have no interest in that mower anymore, but um, I've looked at Xmark's new mowers, and I was very disappointed when I found out that they changed to the style of the Staris. I do not like it. I'm not a fan of that mower at all. Um, I like the style of the Vantage, and the Toro Grandstands are identical, so that may be the way I go if I can't find an Xmark. The only reason I threw this in here at the end is there was a guy in my area that mowed this place for like 17 years. I took it from him. Max and I mowed it for a few years. See that ditch mowed down? We always mowed it, made it look beautiful every week. And these are the stripes from the Xmark Vantage. The guy that um, used to mow it has since taken it back over. He does a horrible job. It, it looks ridiculous every week and he leaves that ditch long. But this is what the Vantage did. Say hi, Noah. I know I wanted to say hi, but that's it, guys. That's my story with the X Mark Vanity.